hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. My name's Bushka. Good to have you on board. <laughs> I'm just doing things. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about the T-30. Basically, uh, I'm playing my own account again, and I'm playing the tanks that I like, which are the tanks that are left on my account. And... I, uh, I wanted to talk about this tank because, man, this tank really doesn't get talked about. I um, I always thought this was one of the best tanks in its tier. And it remains so for me. And I look, I'm going to talk about why it's so freaking good. And I don't understand why more people don't try and drive this thing. Uh, there's not enough T-30s out there, in my opinion. The other thing I want to talk about is... I'm going to show you a clip here, and it's something I have not mentioned more than two or three times on video, and considering that I do like, I don't know, I've done like 1,100, 1,200, 1,300 videos on this game, which is a lot of videos, you'd think I'd run out of things to talk about. Um, I, want to, I want to talk about this one little trick, that the one little trick to, that you know, that dentists don't want you to know. The one thing that lawyers don't want you to know, like, God, let's have some clickbait. Uh, but no, there is something that if you're running a big gun like a T-30 or a uh, Borsig or anything, anything that's a big-ass TD, I'm going to show you how you can boost those damage numbers if you know what you're doing uh, on specific tanks. Now, this is an interesting one because the T-30 is the typical uh, variant, turreted variant of a TD. Now what happens with turreted TDs is the original tank that doesn't have a turret will have more DPM uh, and usually like slightly better stats elsewhere. Like your aim time will be better. If you don't have a turret, your dispersion will be slightly better. All that kind of thing. What the T-30 brings to the table is quite literally the turret. It's the thing that sets it apart from other TDs. But more than that, it's a turret that is very, very, very uh, efficient. It's not like just a wasted turret. Like a Borsig's turret is just about setting up the shot. The T-30 has a turret that actually empowers it as a, an armor profile. It's a much better tank uh, for it. Great shot, this. Big rolls. Um, not big rolls, but just actually hitting a tank at that angle was great. Uh, the thing with the T-30's turret is it lets it set shots up, shots up right? Uh, turreted tanks, they have lower DPM, but there is a an age-old um, discussion about damage per minute, which is the stat that I'm talking about here. Basically, how many shots you can output in a minute and how much damage that will return. And the, the real discussion here is less about damage per minute and more about um, realistic outcomes. And I've talked about high ceiling, low floor, all that kind of thing before. But the fact of the matter is, tanks like the T-30 have far fewer problems in setting shots up. Now, the reason for that is because a tank like the T-30 can angle out, take a shot like that, and pull back. If you're in a T-95 or a slow, big, hefty, non-turreted TD, you've got to expose yourself and turn around to get that shot. Instead of just ducking out very, very quickly and pulling back, you end up getting absolutely destroyed. And that means your ability to minimize potential incoming damage, increases the, the possibility that you are going to actually not just get shots on, and would it be, would it be too much Bushka to ask that you just seriously let the aim time work before you start pressing the button? Uh, and that, oh, oh, yeah, okay, what am I going to talk to you about? I wanted to talk to you about upping your damage as well. So it allows you to get that shot out, and take less damage in. Well, that's the theory behind it. That's the theory crafting behind it. But I found that to be absolutely true. These are literally the first three or four games I played in the tank. Everything was over 3K. Uh, and I think I ended up averaging about 3,000 damage in this over 10 games. Um, and it's, it does exactly what I thought it would do. Um, it is it is just as good as it always was. Uh, I don't... I. It's an interesting... It's an interesting um, interesting field, too, because the TD world has been diluted somewhat by the introduction of a lot of glass cannons, and it's made tanks that can actually take a shot and trade on the front line like a heavy can, like the T-30 does, very, very interesting and very, very sought after. And I was told you I was going to give you a secret to damage. 
the sides of a lot of tanks are like T-34s, Carnarvons, Object 140s, T-62As. They are penable with HE. Uh, and people don't realize this on the heavy tanks. But that's 1,200 damage there on that T-34. That padded the damage output on my, uh, on my game all the way to hell up to nearly 4.5k. It was doing fine at about 3,200, 3,300 damage. But you can hit... The area between the uh, track and the hull, the deck, uh, there is, on the T-30, it's just the same. There is a narrow margin of HE penable, no side skirts, no spaced armor, um, just begging for it. Uh, you can, and if you're looking at Russian mediums, I don't mention it often because I love my Russian mediums, but Russian mediums have that same issue. If you know where to shoot, you can make uh, make do with some very, very cheap damage. Especially if you're looking at uh, a last shot on a tank that everyone's going down to try and kill the last guy. And everyone's going in. And you're going to get one shot. Load up the HE. Get absolutely square onto his sides and uh, do the business. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things here. One of them is... Um, I, I went this way without the team. Because I know that spot there is very, very good for a tank like the T-30, which has a strong turret and 10 degrees of gun depression. Again, this tank is so just not not given enough credit. The, the tank dominates Tier 8 mediums. Like, imagine uh, dominates Tier 8. When you get paired up as a top tier, the T-34 is fine as a Tier 8 heavy, right? So, what if you gave the T-34 seven, 640 Alpha? Well, that's what a T-30 basically is, right? That's what a T-30 is. It's a, it's a T-34 with a massive, big-ass Alpha gun. Where did that go? I give in. Ask me one on sport. Um, so, when you get peered up, teared up at... Uh, uh, paired up against Tier 8. Thanks very much. Um, you really can wreak havoc. Like, you are absolutely dominant. It's literally like taking a good tier 8 tank and then whacking a nuclear weapon on the end of it. So, the turret allows you to really set shots up and it allows you to make trades. Now, I mentioned trades before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll outline it very, very briefly here. Trading uh, as a heavy is when you're on the front lines and say you've got 400 alpha, uh, and you are going to make a trade, you roll forward, and the other guy hits you for 200, right? And then you pull back, and you try and make it a hit point trade, where you've got the same amount of hit points, basically, but you're doing bigger alpha strikes, and you only come out to fight when that alpha is actually available. So you nullify the other guy's DPM. Well, you can do that in this tank, but you can do it deluxe, because obviously it's 640 alpha. So you can waltz out, make a big-ass trade on a proper big heavy like that, and even if he hits you back, you're hitting him for so much that as long as you're only going out when you've got one in the cannon, then you're going to be doing all kinds of bad things to good people. Hit point trades are really, really important to understand because it allows you to, when the maths is really, really important, like say you've got one tank left on both teams, you know that as long as you hit basic shots, you might even be able to figure out the numbers so you can say, well, I can actually make hit point trades here with... Primo, not just with normal rounds. Anyway, if you haven't driven the T30 and you're thinking about driving this line, give it a real good hard look. The other thing that is surprising nowadays is the T28 prototype has been buffed so much and there are so many big derpy Russian heavies that rely on good armor profiles at tier 8. The T28 Proto is actually, oh my god, I'm saying this out loud, is actually a really good tank. And I drive that thing and am incredibly successful with it. It's a high DPM trading heavy that can go front line and pens every freaking time. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of the community and part of the channel. Look after yourselves. Be nice to your mum. And as always, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.